Breaking news after the viral video of rig of 2023 election, INEC speaks. Yes, the Independent National Electoral Commission has finally spoken. Yesterday, we brought you up to speed with a video of possibility of um, plot on our very 2023 election. As people, some people are genuinely doing all they can, okay, sensitizing the people to come vote for them. Some other persons have devised means to in, to find their way into the electoral process and rig. And Imo State Governor Hope, who was supposed to be a hope, a figure or a beacon and a figure of hope, was used as a case study on some of the things that have happened recently. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's hear what INEC has got to say on all the plots being put together with regards to all that is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. 2023, INEC speaks on plot with APC to rig 2023 elections. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has reacted to an allegation of voter registration fraud levied against the Commission by the Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP. Late Nigeria earlier reports that CUPP had on Wednesday alleged that the All-Progressive Congress APC, in connection with INEC, is plotting to inject fake voters into the country's National Voters Register in a bid to compromise the election. The Coalition accused the Commission of failing a lawsuit before the Federal High Court in Imo State to prevent the use of Bio Voters Accreditation System, BVAS, machine at the polls in 2023. Ikago Ima, the CUPP spokesman, revealed local government in Imo State where fake names and photos we allegedly introduced to increase the numbers of registered voters. Ikago mentioned that in some local governments, numbers of registered voters increased from 6,500 to 45,000. CUPP in the statement released claimed to be acting on credible intelligence, alleged that the coordinator of the illegal registration in Imo State, for instance, was a former INEC staff who was the head of the staff electoral commission and who has been and who has been prom promoted to a register electoral commission nominee she supervised the ict team that was deployed to emo state from the from the pool of circulated trained personnel by the party however reacting to the development INEC, through its spokesman, Festus okay, noted it welcomes the respect, the right of citizens to demand accountability. The electoral uniform, therefore, however, called for caution so that such intervention do not unwittingly such release doubt among Nigerians in the public mind, thereby dis dis disregarding the public confidence and trust in the electoral process. The commission noted that it was yet to add new voters who partook in the recent concluded voters registration CVR to the National Voters Register. Okoye said not until the clean up of the of the voters register through INEC automatically the biometric identification system is concluded would the new voters be added to the general register. The commission, however, admitted that more than 3,000 illegal voters has been, has, been, has been verified in an ongoing cleanup process in Imo local government, and they say what CUPP is talking about is true. The statement party reads, it is, the statement reads, it is important to reiterate that no new register has been yet added to the register of voters for the 2023 general election or will be included until the supplemented activities has been completed in line with the law. What CUCPP has said is true, but must be done with caution 
so that Nigerians do not lose trust in INEC. So, guys, they are not denying, don't get it twisted. They are not denying that there is an allegation and the governor of Imo State, whose name apparently says hope, the man does not mean hope. Do you know what the guy said recently? Please, if you have not seen it, go on Apple Live Media on the video and see for yourself. This man recently said the 2023 election, in his opinion, because it's, that is his opinion really, is not for Igbo presidency, that anybody who is an Igbo man that is in for the race should go and rest, and they should go and take a good rest, take a good nap and sleep, that it is not the turn of the Igbos, okay? That it is the turn for Ashiwaju uh, Ahmed Bola Tinobu, and I'm wondering. So my child and your child are in a race together, hmm? Then I will leave my child and I will face you. I don't understand it. I'm trying to understand it. Don't get me twisted. My child, your child, okay, are in a race. We are best of friends, so. Then I will leave my child. Both of them are same age, seven or eight or nine, same age, in same class, participating in an inter-house sport, okay? And I'm coming there as a parent to, to support my child. And my child and your child are having a race. Then I will say, ah, it's not the turn of my child. I don't get, do you understand where we are coming from? Exactly. This is what this man is saying to all who is from the Southeast, that they should go and take a good nap and sleep because it feels like they are feeling dizzy and they, had, they have not rested for a while. They should go and sleep. That Peter Obi should forget about this whole, uh, he called it a name. He should forget about it. He should go and take a deep rest. Okay, he should rest very well because he does not understand why Peter Obi is making noise. That he will go ahead and he will convince. And I wonder who he wants to really convince because everybody knows him. Everybody knows who he is. Okay. And the party has contributed actively. Okay. Himself and in, in, in APC. How people's will has been circum, circumvent for him to become governor. Somebody who came third. All of a sudden. Even the Supreme Court cannot answer the question. Even the Supreme Court. They don't know how to answer the question. All of a sudden becomes the winner of an election. The Supreme Court was called upon. The Supreme Court was called upon. How did this happen? How did it go? What did what happened? How did it they cannot they cannot they cannot they cannot explain because they don't know what happened. They can't even explain. They can't even explain. So these are some of the things that are going on. And everybody's wondering. Everybody's seriously wondering what exactly is going on here. So you see, the days of undermining the position of truth and allowing things to go okay in ways that will not promote our interest should be overdone with okay then we should we should definitely roll out this okay we should definitely roll out this and ensure that at the end of the day we are putting out ourselves on a good foot for us to have a better perspective all hope is business in himself and concerned about is how, you know, probably they promised him. He was a senator before he became a governor. And uh, the people promised him and said, ah, you will give us Imo State. He said, that's, that's the list. Is that all you want? And you can see the unrest that has gone in. That's what happens when illegality takes the order of the day. When something that is not supposed to be the order of the day, when, when you're in the wrong place, when you're trying to fit in a square peg into a round hole, there, you will come up with what we call difficulty. Very difficult times and difficult situations are things that you will come up with. It will be so difficult, you cannot even begin to imagine. It will be so difficult. Trying to put a round peg in a square hole, you will, be, you will find it very difficult. Okay, you will find it very difficult. So these are some of the things going on. These are some of the things happening. Okay, you cannot begin to imagine some of the things that are going on. And it is, it is what it is. And Nigerians, it is time to... Make sure that we are on the path of truth and we know who we want to put as our leader. Bye for now.